Candace said, not today, Satan, and then referenced Giselle's ankles. Juan told Robin that she has to make sure everything she wants is in that prenup. And Ray has no problem with Karen having eye candy, but he hopes that she sticks with the candy only. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today I will be reviewing The Real Housewives of Potomac, Season 7, Episode 2. Giselle was having a conversation in the studio with Candace and was implying that Candace's husband Chris was making her feel uncomfortable and Candace immediately got up, left the room and demanded to speak with the executive producer. She's not about to sit there and let them malign her husband as they typically do. She's letting the producers know she's not about that game as it relates to Chris and she headed out the door. It seemed like Ashley knew what was going on because she initially was the one who said that Chris slid into her DMs. She had a smirk on her face as well as Giselle had a sh ish eating grin on her face when she exited the room. Uh, Giselle said to Maya that she sent her email apologizing about her delivery and Maya did not respond back. They left the room. Giselle basically apologized to her and um, asked her how she was doing. Meanwhile, Robin felt that most of the ladies did not believe Maya's story about the cancer. Wendy claims that she's going to give Maya the benefit of the doubt. And Robin got hot. She got up and started walking towards Wendy as if she was going to do something. She looked like she was ready to square up. Wendy told her to sit down. And that's exactly what Robin did. Maya said that she did not have cancer. I'm happy for her. So Robin begins to tell uh, the ladies that she's planning a, a children's get together and she invited everyone who had children with the exception of Wendy because you know they were just about getting ready to throw down. Later, as they were leaving, um, Wendy was still mic'd, and the producer asked Wendy if she believed Maya's story about the cancer. Uh, and Wendy said she was lying. Everybody knew she was lying, but that was not what Wendy said when asked by Robin. And they showed Wendy saying that, hey, um, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt, and then accused the ladies of of saying that Maya was lying when she basically said the same thing. Candace is talking to her nurse about um, getting ready to take injections because she, as you know, is trying to harvest her eggs and the nurse is guiding her through it. She's a better woman than me. Um, that wouldn't be my life because Needles and I are sworn enemies. Ray and Karen goes to the manicure shop and um, you know Ray looks over and asks Karen this is what she does. So Karen said she's got to take care of Auntie Karen and I like that. Karen asks Ray gently what is his problem with her doing uh, enhancing. He's she asked him if he was insecure about her. He said, well, you know, every man who has an attractive wife is going to feel some level of insecurity. And Karen said, well, we both know that I like looking at eye candy. Ray said, well, he sees nothing wrong with her having eye candy, but as long as it remains eye candy. He doesn't want any man pushing up on his wife. We see Ashley with her brother driving to a house she's probably putting an offer in on because the house she made an offer on she was rejected because there were 
multiple offers and the one that won was the one who paid cash. So she's looking at another house. She was met at the door by the listing agent as well as a realtor who works primarily for her husband. Uh, Ashley looked around and then she and the realtor had a conversation and the realtor indicated that, you know, she had the financing. Now, she looked surprised when the realtor said that, so she probably got some other kind of information from Michael. Ashley was a little emotional in the kitchen. She talked about, um, you know, her marriage breaking, uh, her and Michael breaking up and that she wonders if she's making the right decision. That's why I said she should stay in that house. People making decisions while they're emotional and it's a highly emotional um, experience. I just think she needs to take one step at a time and stay in that penthouse. I make no financial moves with Michael because you don't know whether the financial moves will be equal. She already has a prenup agreement with him and I won't tie myself legally with him with anything else. Now I'm sure these two know what they're going to discuss while filming so it's not a surprise that she brings it up. But they both look uncomfortable in that moment. Robin talked about in the past, she had a, a prenup agreement with him when he paid basketball. But when they got divorced, they had no money. So that prenup was not in play. However, because she has done well, things are different. And she just wants everything to be uh, decent and in order because in the past she remembered when she was getting a divorce, a woman that one was dating created a lot of issues for her and she didn't want that to be the case. Now when she mentioned that to Juan, he shut that down. He looked like she was saying too much or it, maybe that statement she said was overrated. Often he personally wouldn't want to take that away from her he's proud of her and she said well she just want to do just in case and he knew that didn't come from an honest place so he got up and he said well you put whatever you want to put in there and make sure you get everything that you want and he walked away so Robin's going to have an issue on her hand. We see a little piece of Wendy going to the doctor. Evidently her hair is falling out and the doctor advised that she may be under too much stress and she needs to make some corrections. We see Robin meeting Maya at the restaurant and Robin asking Maya to be clear about her the post that she makes online particularly as it relates to the cancer piece robin asked her whether she had cancer and she said no she did not that she had some other issues going on so robin told maya about the situation with giselle and how chris made her feel uncomfortable and maya claims she too has a story about chris that she noticed at Karen's spring party that Chris was staring her down and they made sure they showed Chris was not staring at Maya. Whenever Maya's lips are moving, something else will be present. Giselle going to Karen's house now this these two were feuding last year and evidently Karen is trying to make a new part for Giselle in her life I have no idea why but they're on a show and they gotta create something 
So Giselle shows up at Karen's home and begins to tell her the story, the Chris situation and making her feel uncomfortable. But when Giselle was breaking down her story, she mentioned that it was one person's word against the other. And Karen said, well, how did that come into play? Because you and Chris are friends. Karen asked her, did you tell him he made you feel uncomfortable in that moment? Giselle said no, but what she did, it did was ask him to find out whether they needed her on set, and immediately he left. What is the upset between Chris and Giselle that's making her clutch her pearls? He did not say anything to her that was offensive. He did not come on to her. He left the door open, and when you asked him to find out whether they needed you on set, he left immediately. So what's the problem, girl? Candace and Chris are having, it looks like, lunch. And they're talking about what Giselle said. Chris said, well, he, well first time he heard it, he was angry. Uh, he goes out of his way to make people feel comfortable. Then all of a sudden we see Robin coming up to their table. So we know more mess is going to be coming and they're clearly going to pursue uh, a storyline as it relates to, to Chris. So I hope Candace is, is ready. She already talking about Giselle's ankles. And you know how, what a beast Candace could be when she feels like she's being attacked. That's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please send your comments and please click that notification button so you get new uploads. I don't know where this conversation is going to go, but all of it is trifling. And may I say fake.